about to hear a romantic drama, Romance on the Sunday, from Love Story magazine, featuring the love story girl in the role of Nadine Grayson. The scene is a small restaurant on Broadway, New York. Alone at a table is Nadine Grayson, feeling rather sorry for herself because although she's worked in the city for six months, she knows no one in New York. But now a tall, good-looking man in English tweeds approaches her table. I beg your pardon, miss, but could you manage to go to Bermuda with me tonight? It's terribly important. I... Uh, why, I never saw you before in my life. Well, that's a pretty silly reason for refusing a job. A job? Of course it's a job. Didn't I explain that? I'm offering you $500 what? in addition to your expenses. Oh, five... Well, I'm afraid things aren't very clear. Uh, why don't you sit down and start from the beginning? Oh, all right, all right, but I loathe them. Beginnings, I mean. Oh, by the way, who are you? Oh, yes, of course, I forgot that. I, I beg your pardon. Here's my card. Oh, Norman P. Warren, publicity agent. I oh. hope you know what a publicity agent does. Well, I suppose you get people, their names in the paper. Yes, that's the idea. Now, here's the setup. I've been in business myself for three months, and my first client, yes. in fact, my only client, was the Windy Day Cold Cream Company. I persuaded them to run a beauty contest for the girl with the perfect complexion. Oh. The winner of the contest was to get a trip to Bermuda. Yes. At the last minute, the cold cream people got cold feet and mm -hmm. wanted to back out. But I was so sold on the idea that I offered to put up all the expenses myself. Then if they were satisfied with the publicity, I'd get a contract. Go on. Well, we picked the winner. Mm -hmm. I've got every newspaper in New York down on the dock to snap her. She boards the Bermuda boat tonight. And then, bang, no girl. What happened? Mumps. What? Mumps, I tell you, mumps certainly work wonders with a beauty contest winner. <laughs> oh, please don't laugh. Here I sit, the boat sails in two hours, and ruin stares me in the face. Unless, of course, you'll go in her place. Will you? Oh, I, I'd love to, only... Will I have any clothes? Think nothing of it. There's a complete wardrobe waiting on the ship. You wear about a size 16, don't you? Yes. Perfect. Oh. You keep the stuff, of course, when you get back. That's extra besides the $500. Well, what do you say? Do we go? Yeah. You're awfully impulsive, aren't you? Oh, good Lord, who wouldn't be impulsive in a spot like this? How about it? Well, of course, I'll lose my job. Is it much of a job? No. Well, then who cares? <laughs> All right, I'll go. What time did you say the boat sails? Nadine, it's about time we... Holy smoke. What's the matter? You're absolutely marvelous in that dress. Oh, like it? Say, I knew you were pretty, but good Lord, I never dreamed of anything like this. Thanks. Is your stateroom all right? Oh, it's perfect. Everything's perfect. I'm having the time of my life. Well, we'd better be getting down to dinner. Mm. There'll probably be a couple of cameras waiting for you at the door of the dining saloon. Oh. And then there's a dance afterwards, oh. and you'll have to meet everybody on the boat. Don't be nervous now. I won't be when you're with me. Good girl. I'll be right beside you. And I have a premonition that I'm always going to be right around when you need me. Come on, let's go. <laughs> well, Nadine... At that, I should say your first evening was a howling success. Oh, Norman, it was marvelous. You I... certainly did all right on the dance floor. <laughs> you had more stags cutting in per minute than any other gal on the boat. I didn't seem to have a look in. Well, I guess I'd oh, better please. go down. Don't go down just yet. Can't we make tonight last just a little longer? Well, I ought to. Oh, come on out on deck and scare up some moonlight. There must be bushels of it lying around, free for the asking. Come on. Well, just for a little while. Swell. Oh, there are a couple of chairs over there by the lifeboat. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look how the moon paints a sort of silver path across the water. You better let me wrap this rug around you. It's All a little right. chilly. There. Comfortable? Mm -hmm. All right, now, tell me all about yourself. Oh, well, there isn't much to tell. My family live in a little town in Maryland, and I thought I'd come to New York and see if I could earn my living there. It's seemed as if there'd be more opportunity, but somehow New York's a pretty big place. I've been terribly lonely for the last three months. Oh, poor kid. Oh, but this makes up for it. It's so new and wonderful. Oh, this is nothing. We've just started. Wait till we get to Bermuda. Oh, even if there weren't any more 
Just tonight has been more to me than... Gosh, you're lovely. Oh, oh no, Mon, please, it's oh, just getting one late. kiss before you go. Please, darling, I know I haven't any right to ask, but I do want it so terribly. I... I... Oh. Until tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow. Good morning, Miss Grayson. Well, Do you suppose I could persuade a queen of beauty to take ten turns around the deck with me? Why, I... The name is Harvey, Brooks Harvey. And I was one of the many you danced with last night, in case you've forgotten. Well, I hadn't forgotten. I was... Well, I expected to see Mr. Warren this morning, but... Norman? Oh, he's probably hanging around Gloria Gay. Gloria Gay? Oh, the, the movie actress? Yes. Didn't you know she was on board? No. Oh, that's right. You didn't know... Uh, you didn't see her show up at the dance last night. Oh, does no... Uh... Well, I mean, does Mr. Warren know her? No, he was engaged to her once. Engaged? Sure, but she she got sidetracked by a millionaire from Pittsburgh. Oh. However, from the looks of things, I say she's got a hook baited for Norman again. Oh. So that's the way, huh, kid? Listen, I hope you didn't take anything Norman might have said too seriously. Publicity men always make love to any girl they're featuring. What? Creates the right atmosphere or something. Take my word for it, and, and if Gloria wants Norman, she'll get him. She knocks him dead at 90 paces. Uh, I'm going down to my cabin. Pull yourself together now. Here they come. I can't. Oh, Nadine. Uh, just a minute. Oh, uh, Nadine, hello. I want you to meet a very old friend of mine, Gloria Gay. How, How do you do, do, Nadine? Isn't it amazing? I never knew Gloria was sailing on this boat. <laughs> Gloria, what's the matter with your publicity man? He's no good, darling. No one's been any good since you left me. Well, serves you right for fighting with me. <laughs> However, I'll give you one more chance at my valuable services. Oh, will you, Norman? That's grand. You know, there's never, never been anyone like you. All right, darling, you're elected. Oh, by the way, Nadine, yes. uh, Gloria's consented to let you pose with her for Sunday's Rodos. Oh. That's a break for us because my new client here is always front page news. Oh. Well, haven't you anything to say? Seems to me... I'm afraid you'll have to excuse Miss Grayson for a while. She promised to play deck tennis with me. Perhaps you'd like to get a picture of that. Once in a while, I make the front page myself. Here's my stateroom. Good night, Nadine. Thank you for a swell evening. Uh, thank you for, for sticking by me. <laughs> Don't thank me for that. It wasn't any hardship. Good Lord, you're beautiful. Well, good night. Oh, I saw them. Norman and that woman up in the top deck. He was making love to her in the same spot where he and I last night over. Oh, how dare he? I, I wish I were dead. Who's that talking? Oh, it's a couple of men on the deck outside my window. Well, uh, what do you think Warren will do when he finds his publicity scheme has been queer? Oh. What can he do? He just wired the papers that Gloria Gay was making a personal appearance, and they'd be ready for her. Oh. <laughs> you know, ten to one, Warren will think the crowd for his little gal. Oh. That's the uh, pretty smart of your company to spike Warren's scheme. Well, I suppose you couldn't let a competitor get away with it. Oh, it's a frame-up. They frame Norman. I've got to tell him right away. 243, 248, 246, 244, Yes, who is it? It's me, Nadine. Why, Nadine, what's the matter? Norman, I heard two men talking. Some competing company has arranged to have Gloria steal all your show. What? Good Lord, that'll dish us for fair. Norman, why don't you ask Gloria not to do it? Well, perhaps something can be arranged. Don't worry, I think... Gloria will be reasonable. But suppose she isn't. Then I'll be broke. Broken out of a job. Not nice, but it won't be the first time. Norman, if that happens, there's the $500 you gave me for the trip. That would be enough, wouldn't it, for you to start all over again? Oh, you darn plucky kid. You're out of a job yourself oh, until that... you want to give the money back to me. But... Not that I'd touch it, but, well, the fact that you wanted me to have it. Well, the scheme just can't flop after that. Gloria's got to listen to reason. Uh, 
messenger gang plank this way. Nadine, yes? Nadine, it's all right. Oh. Gloria's not coming. Everything's swell. Come on, we've got to get off the boat. Oh, Norman, I knew you'd do it. You walk over to that man holding that basket of flowers. Right. And don't forget to smile <laughs> and look at the camera every minute. All right. Tell them the idea that a beauty queen on the spot is better than a movie queen some other place. I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Isn't the harbor beautiful at night, Nadine? That's our boat over there. I know. From the ter- terrace here, it, it looks like a bracelet of light against the black of the sky. Mm, it does, sort of. Norman, do you know what really happened to Gloria this morning? She was taking a shower, and the stewardess locked her trunk with the keys inside. And when she came out, she didn't have a stitch to put on except a black negligee, and she couldn't very well get off the boat in that. It, it took hours to get a locksmith and... Norman Warren, you did it. What? You did, too. I can tell by the funny way your eyes are twinkling. Me lock Gloria's trunk. All right, all right. You bribed the stewardess to do it, then. That, that's oh, why... it's much too grand a night <sighs> to waste time talking about Gloria. You know, Nadine, the moment you offered me that $500, I decided we were going to succeed if I had to murder the fair Gloria to get her out of the way. And it worked. I got a cable from the Windy Day people an hour ago, oh. and I'm going to get my contract and a fat bonus besides. Oh, Norman, I'm so glad <laughs> about you getting the contract, I mean. Darling, we've only a minute before the Grand March, and you're due to be photographed as Bermuda's prettiest guest. <laughs> but in between publicity stunts, as it were, I'm, I'm taking time out to tell you that I want you to marry me the moment we're back in New York. Oh. That is, if you feel you know me well enough. But it isn't too soon. No, it's never too soon to get married. Not when you love somebody as much as I love you. Nadine. You have been listening to a romance featuring the Love Story Girl and presented with the permission of Street and Smith, publishers of Love Story magazine. Listen for the Love Story Girl in a new romance next week.